Hi guys. I'm not even sure how this is gonna come out, but I'm just gonna talk. I'm feeling a lot of emotion the last two, three weeks, I'd say. Part of it had to do with, I went on vacation for the first time in my life. I made myself like do nothing, put my phone away, consciously try to be in the present moment. Um, just slow everything down, like do simple things, enjoy like simple pleasures, like drinking coffee in the morning, something I couldn't do for years, things like that. Um, and as I done, as I did that, I could definitely feel like some things coming up that were coming to my awareness that I've been trying to not think about, or, you know, just like plans for the future. Like, what do you want to do in 2024? What do you want to do? How did 2023 go? Like, what lessons did you learn? What do you not want to repeat? What do you, how do you want to move forward? Like, what do you want for your business and your personal life and your health? <clears throat> All these things were like swirling around the last, you know, three weeks because I was on vacation. And now that I'm in my hometown, even more things came up. And it was, how do you fit in your family? Because you live van life and you've been gone for four years. And there was also this awareness of, um, wow, I have been in this psychiatric drug withdrawal world for eight years in January. And it's taken me all that time to get where I am. And I feel like just now, just now, at 7.9 years off, um, I'm like noticing like, wow, this is how my family dynamics are. And I'm like aware enough to see my place in that, and that mix because I was so sick for so long, you guys, that I wasn't even like part of the family unit. Like, yes, they were family members, but like I didn't attend birthday parties. I didn't like do activities with them. I might've seen them at Christmas or New Year's. I'm sorry, just Christmas or Thanksgiving. And that was it. Like that was all I would see them for a whole year. So I'm like reevaluating my place in my own family and just um, like life, I guess. And then the last couple days I got even more emotional because I was like, oh my God, you're middle-aged. Cause like two people said that to me in the last couple days. And I'm like, kind of looking at them like, are you crazy? And it's because like my whole twenties, okay, I got medicated at age 24 when I was in the military, I was so young. I was newly married. Like, you know, what do you know at 24? Like nothing. Then I'm medicated all the way until I was 36, 37 when I came off. And then I went through withdrawal for the first three years was super, super heavy. And then it started to kind of ease up. So like, it's like I've had amnesia for 20 years. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm waking up from a coma and I'm realizing all these things. And I'm like, oh my God, you're 44 years old. But inside my head, I'm still like 20 something or 30 because I was medicated at such a young age, like in adulthood. And I still like the things I did back then. So I'm just like slowing down and realizing things. For instance, I took a hike with a friend who's my age that we went to high school with. So he knew me before all this happened. And I was talking to him about that. Like, you know, we're getting older and like things hurt and we can't stay up late and you can't like you know, drink and smoke cigarettes and pound your body with all this stuff if you want to live a good life. Um, so I'm like looking around like, okay, I'm just starting to like dance parties, but am I too old to do that? Or I want to dress a certain way, but am I too old to dress like that? And it's like, I, I, it's like you think that you're doing well until like you get more clarity, like you level up, you get another level of clarity and another level of healing. Um, and even maybe like you're present enough to reflect on things that happen to you. And I'll just say, it's like very unsettling. I'm going through all the emotions. I'm like feeling like I don't know anything. I don't know where I belong or where anything feels like anchored and solid. Like it's gonna make me cry. Like I don't, um, I'm, I'm just still like opening up and learning and looking around and like, should I dye my hair? Or should I wear certain clothes? Or um, what are your goals? Like, who are you? It's really sad and really scary. And I just wanted to share that with you. And I think this is the aftermath of trauma, like after trauma stops happening to you. Cause it's, I felt like I had a trauma magnet on me for years and years and years, you know? And then the tramp, the trauma stopped, but then I was so medicated. I couldn't cope with life. And then the medication comes off and you're just in the fight or fight survival mode. And then, okay, that trauma is calming down and okay, I'm starting to feel healthy and I can live a life and it's a good life 
And maybe I was just like off like a slingshot when I started to feel better at all. And now things are calming again and just like, okay, who do you want to be? Like, what do you want to do? That's scary, but it's also exciting. Like, as I hear myself say that, I'm like, okay, but that's a good thing. Because you can go and be and do whatever you want. You do have, I, I do have, like, the means to do that or the connections to explore different things. Um, because I fought so hard to get here. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share that. That I'm just feeling very unanchored and emotional and questioning and curious and excited and scared all at the same time um how can you relate can you guys that are come off meds have have you had similar realizations I've you know I've had these before but this is a very deep one and it feels very um meaningful and scary and so I don't know what 2024 brings I have no idea we'll see we will see